Hi and welcome to the Apple videos. In this video we're going to take a look at using your fingerprint to unlock your phone and access things like iTunes and the App Store. So instead of using a passcode you can use your fingerprint and the way to use that is to lightly rest your finger on the home button. That's the big button at the bottom of the screen. You just lightly rest your finger on there to access the fingerprint scanner because there's a fingerprint scanner built into that button. But before you can take advantage of that you need to set the feature up and the feature is called Touch ID. So if we go into settings and scroll down you will see Touch ID and passcode. Go into there and you'll be asked to enter in your passcode. If you've got a passcode you will enter your passcode in here. If you don't have one you just create a new one. Now from here you need to enable the feature and we do that with this top switch which is iPhone unlock. And as soon as we do that we get asked to put our finger on the home button. Remember you don't depress it, you just rest it on there. And it will give you a reading and you just need to keep removing your finger and placing it back on that button and as this little graphic gets more and more in the red it just means it's actually getting more and more details about your finger so you need to just keep doing that until it's completely red and then it goes through to the next area. This is where you adjust your grip so you roll your finger to different sides because your finger will not always be pressed onto the scanner in a flat manner so you use the edges of your finger and once that's done press continue. So now we have a fingerprint in our fingerprint scanner. I'd advise you to add more than one fingerprint so you would add maybe your fingerprint from your index finger and your thumb as well which is what I normally do. So to do that you just press add fingerprint and add a second finger. Then you have the setting immediately below the iPhone unlock switch which is the iTunes and App Store switch. So to enable that you'll need to enter in your Apple ID passcode and what that does is it allows you to use your fingerprint scan when you're accessing things from iTunes and the App Store so you don't need to enter in your passcode which just makes the whole process so much nicer. It's actually a really nice feature and it's worthwhile enabling Touch ID just so you can access your iTunes and App Store without needing to put in your password. You can choose to turn passcode off but that will disable the feature altogether so that means you can just swipe to unlock the phone and there is no security so I don't recommend that. You can change your passcode from here if you want. If we scroll down we have this setting here to require passcode immediately and if we go in and take a look at it it seems like a pretty pointless setting because immediately is the only choice. What this setting is for is for example if you disable the touch ID for the phone unlocking so we're only using our passcode not the fingerprint scanner we can go down here and choose to require the passcode after a minute, five minutes or any of these other time intervals. So what that allows us to do is to get quick access to our phone do what we need to do and then put our phone down without needing to enter the passcode immediately to get access which is really handy if you just want to quickly respond to somebody via a text message or a quick response via email that's where you take advantage of this setting we've got simple passcode I've got simple passcode enabled that which means I'm allowed to use a four digit number if you require something more complicated you can turn that off but a four digit code works well you have voice dial so this allows you to control your music from your lock screen so once your phone is locked instead of unlocking it you can just long press the home button it will bring up Siri and then you can command Siri to play music from your library and Siri cannot access other parts of your phone just the music area you've also got the ability to allow and disallow certain features when the phone is locked so we can see here I've got all these things that I can allow when my phone is locked obviously if I disable Siri then my voice dial is going to be unavailable as we can see so it's up to you what you would like to be available from your lock screen. And then lastly we have erase data. So erase data means that if there's 10 failed attempts to enter the code into your phone, it will automatically erase all of the data on your phone. So it will think that the phone has been stolen and it will just basically blitz the phone for you. I never have that enabled simply because if you set your phone up with Find My iPhone, you can log on to the iCloud website, get access to your phone and blitz your phone from the Find My iPhone area. So that just really prevents any mistaken deletion of all your data. So for example, if you have children or your grandchildren are playing with your phone and you don't know about it and they enter the passcode in 10 times, it'll blitz your phone and that's not really what we want to happen. So choose that setting with care. So ladies and gentlemen, that is everything I need to show you with regards to setting up Touch ID and passcodes on your phone. 